so this is a poem that I wrote today entitled Echo and it is in reference to the recent tragic death of one of my childhood heroes Kobe Bryant so without further ado Echo I can't conjoin this admiration for my childhood hero with death I can't foresee mortality and the images blanketing the screens with the historic memories you left. There's just regret. So we ask the questions. How could this have been prevented? I crave for it to be like the movies, the flicks where someone bears witness to a terrible conjuncture and they successfully transcend time to prevent destruction. If only it were that simple. A call letting you know this plane ride would not be like the others. One second guess, a postponement or text, and we just can't reconcile this. An action done two or three times a day since your basketball career came to fruition, yet this time for some reason was different. How could something so meager take a life? Some fog, a misjudgment of height, but I don't want to linger on that day. Placing yourself mentally in that plane and questioning the last words of the families would make you go insane. So when I think about the mama, I think of all the times he motivated me to be better. As a freshman at Auburn, the university was massive. I struggled to find friends I could trust or feel like in this big world, I matter. Mostly, I just watched television in my dorm. What else could make me smile but looking at the room door that I'd adorned? A Kobe Bryant poster accented the white paint on the door. I've been a fan of the game, but Kobe was the NBA to me. It was something I could be proud of, something that encouraged me to exceed limitation placed on me. See, I didn't have to watch the games all the time to feel inspired. I could just look at that poster and know that through my hard work and passion, I could do something worthy. At the beginning of seventh grade, I didn't have many friends, but when I fixed my words to argue for Kobe, I bonded with them. I met some of my best friends through debates about Kobe, knowing that if he could do what he does, I could win. I couldn't fathom the negatives. I just saw greatness in the way he played. I didn't always have the confidence my 29 year old body inhabits now. I watched people criticize his assurance and arrogance. In the face of, if in the face of constant criticism he couldn't break, I could certainly ascend to greatness despite any critic's hypothesis. Kobe is the reason negative opinions no longer impact me. As I got older, I started to understand purpose is what makes most different from this man. To find your true purpose in life is one of the greatest things, but to live that purpose, pour your entity into it, and envision exceeding that every day is like nothing else. Kobe embodied that. It just seems that nothing written here will be worthy enough to encapsulate what he was. Getting to see him in person and to see the positive rumors prove true was unfathomable. But every great play, edge of your seat moment and championship drive could only scratch the surface of who you were. Kobe was our childhood and to his family, he was a national hero. January 26 will never be the same. I'm so used to seeing you in the media for breaking records or speaking on the importance of women in sports. Now, I'm receiving these ESPN updates confirming that you're no longer with us. It's like a dagger every time we hear or see the words. And to lose Gianna so young and full of life, all her dreams shattered and a mother not able to hold her child. The sadness of all families impacted breaks a heart. Loading that plane, they never fathomed they would never, well, they would forever be apart. Every instance where I visualize the 1978 through 2020 year line, I feel it's a mistake, some stupid chicane. 
but it's real. And although we may not see you here, somehow we'll learn to grow. We'll keep your legacy in tow. And most importantly, we'll make sure that what you taught us lives on.